Damn, the music's just picking up in time when I click the record button. Anyway, welcome back, guys, to World Super Mario Galaxy 2. I sort of almost said World 2. I don't know. Makes no sense. But anyway, welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy 2. In this episode, we're going to start off with the Prankster Comet. And then we'll just go from that. Uh, we've got, like, a mission in Honey Hop Galaxy that we have to go do from the chimp. Um, other than that, uh, we've got the Adventure of the Purple Coins. Oh, I hate this one. I think there are exactly 100 that I have to get as well. Oh, there are exact. Please don't tell me there's exactly 100. Yes. I got five minute time. To be fair, five minutes is like forgiving, like very forgiving. Um, yeah. So there's exactly, exactly enough. Um, however, um, during this, um, there should be someone towards, at least somewhat towards the end, that will tell you how many you should have before going into the final section. Um, so before going to the final section, you should have someone telling you how many you should have. Um, there are, I believe, okay, I was going to say, I believe there are zero purple coins on this entire thing. Um, but there are. And I have to move over onto the other one. Please don't tell me there's any that I missed up there, because otherwise I'm going to cry. Right, never mind. Right, so cool. There's 31. This shouldn't be a problem. I shouldn't have missed any just yet. Um, I'm just want to double check down here just in case there are any down here. I don't think there are. Right, so I should say, got 37. Yes, yeah, so there are people that are partway through that tell you how many you should have. Um, and they should make it your life much easier on you um, telling you how many you should have at this point. Um, right. Yeah, so they should make your life very easy on telling you how many you should have. Um, if you don't have that many, um, unfortunate for you, I guess. Um, well, I need to kind of get in here and make my way over here. Okay, I've, I've made my way... Ah, that's because I need to go down here. I do it like this. Right, where else do I need to go? I believe it's the other side now. So I just need to go around an extra time and then I can kind of drop down on the other side, yeah. It's kind of hard to judge this properly. Right, that's fine. So we need to get, we need to get onto this side. Um, obviously, I'm kind of doing this in the least efficient way possible. Yeah, like definitely the least efficient way possible. I'm probably going to end up running out of time. Time is going to be probably my worst enemy here, which is ironic because I said that it shouldn't be your enemy. Right, so... There we go. So they should tell you that you need a certain amount before going onto this. So it should say 73. 73, yes. Okay. Right. This is the part where it's going to be more complicated. Because on here, getting the exact amount that I need while maintaining the balance that I need to still go around, it's going to be very difficult. Here we go. I probably could have re reached that one at the top, but it is what it is. Okay, I wanted to get those four. Ninety-seven. Oh no, I've missed one. Oh, there it is. There we go. Okay, it's up there. Okay, why have you put it up there? Why have you put it up there? What's wrong with you? You are some sick people if you put it up there. I miss, I swear down. There we go. Man, that mission, by the time that I grab the star and this screen fades out, it is exactly five minutes. 
five minutes on the record. Man, that's crazy. Exactly five minutes to do that purple coin mission. Well, not really, because the timer was five minutes, so I mean, it, you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Anyway, number 94. Right. Right, and so that's quite a lot of runes, pretty much done. Um, we have a mission in Honey Hop that we must take care of. Um, yes. So that'll be World 4 completed then, once we do this one. But anyway, here's the chimp. Um, I know which one this one is as well. I know the mission this one is. Um, so yeah, I know what he, I know what he wants from us. Anyway, the chimp score challenge. I do know what he wants from us. So this is the score challenge, which is similar to the ones that we did in Fluffy Bluff Galaxy. Um, well, actually, it's kind of identical to the ones we done in Fluffy Bluff Galaxy, except it's just a different scenery. It's the same concept though. Hello, finally. You ready to take on the greatest game player in the galaxy? Also known as a chimp. I've got a high score of 10,000 in this game here. Is it pretty simple? Just on the enemy, grab coin. If you get my score or higher, I might give you a star. And some respect. Maybe. So you game or what? Yeah, man. You're going for 10,000 points. Good luck. You're going to need it, pal. Right, let's go. Bang. Okay, never mind. Bang. Do I grab the coin? So again, similar concept in this one. Um is that you kind of want to, obviously you want to go around and get as many as you can. Um, obviously these coins are kind of free, so it's kind of worth to go off in this direction and get him. Um, but obviously the main the main kind of attraction is kind of at the top. Um, you don't really want to be wasting too much time. Like these are kind of easy combo potentials here, um, and you don't really want to be messing up on them. Okay, okay, please do not kill me. Yeah, so these are kind of easy combo potentials that you have to get down, um, or at least get at least get 300 on one of them. Um, again, the main sort of event is kind of up the top. Okay, I got three. Okay, please. See, I'm too busy trying to get everything that I can here. Up. Right. Right, never mind. Again, look, you can see the main event is up here on the top, so obviously there's plenty of easy combo potential here, which you literally just have to be getting points on. Let me see how many of these I can actually do. I should have it. Eleven thousand, man! You got destroyed. You made me my lifelong rival. I need to find some new games so I could enjoy your frustration more. Ah, uh, well, I'm a player of my word. Here, take your star. You earned it. Damn that! Like the, ow. You got my nose again. So, this, I feel like, was kind of easier than... Hello? You're pretty good. You racked up 11. Come back if you want to crack the high score. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, so, yeah, this is... I feel like this one was kind of easier than the, the bowling one. Because the bowling one kind of takes more skill to do. It's because you have to, like, line it up properly and, like, kind of dodge everything. I feel like that one should have been the last one. But I think this one is the last one that he does. Um... No, actually, it isn't. I don't think this is the last one that he does. I don't think it is. Yeah, I don't think it is the last one that he does. Yeah, we'll have to see, because I don't think this is the last one. We'll have to find out, though. But that is World 4 now pretty much complete. So you've got Worlds 1 to 4 complete, just missing on Fleet Glide Galaxy um, to complete itself. Um, but then we kind of can progress forward a little bit. And go towards some absolute monster of a mission, which I absolutely love. I love why I love the fact that it's in here. Um, a lot of you guys can um, can kind of see it from the get-go here. Oh, well, I saw it from like back then. You probably knew which one it was if you played the Mario series before. But this is Throwback Galaxy, um, which the hint is in the name um, of why it's here. Uh, but yeah, Return of the Womp King. So if you remember, 
in Super Mario 64, the Womp King had this exact terrain in it. And it has been reincarnated uh, in kind of 3D form, which I feel like is very, very cool. Uh, it's, ident it's an identical replica, uh, and the music is the same, um, of the Super Mario 64 version of this mission, uh, which I feel like is very, very cool. The trees are the same, everything's the same. And you can actually get on top of here from the get-go as well. It's really cool. Hey! Hey, you, guy with the stash, you came along just in time. Would you do me a favor and get that star back from the Womp King at the top of this hill? To the top. Y yes, sir. And here we go. And this mission is so cool. I love the uniqueness. Here we are. So the secret mission is here. Um, I believe you can actually reach this secret mission uh, with a cloud flower. Um, this is like one of the only ones that you can actually reach the mission with. Right. Come on. Faster. There we go. See, I didn't mess around. I got all of them. Man, where's my... Okay, I was going to say, I was like, my curse is kind of bugging out. Yeah. There we go. Let's go straight across. Ah. Can I get on top of this womp? Or well, this thwomp? Thwomps and womps are two very different things. I need to learn that. Right, let's keep it going. Right. What's the uh, other area down here? Okay, I genuinely thought I just killed myself, so I'm happy that I didn't. That's what I thought just happened. Okay, that goes around. Okay, that goes around the other side. I could probably reach that, though. Um, well, I know I can reach that. Alright, never mind. Mario's going headfirst into the swimming pool. Oh, they're actually... The Skeeters actually are a lot more agile. I guess you could say. They're very agile. Because they actually know what they're doing. They're in water. So it makes sense. Okay. Ah, okay. So back where the cannon would be um, in the first... In 64. Because the cannon would be here, right? And obviously they've made like a little sling start where the hole of it from the cannon would be. Um, which I feel like is quite cool. Oh, this, this is a cool reference. You'll notice this in a minute. This is a cool reference. Ah, there's music. Hey, give me my one ups before they fall. There we go. If I head back down here, um, this guy is actually quite funny. Um, so if you speak to this guy, he's like... You look sort of familiar, Stash Man. How are you doing? A really pretty star landed here recently, but the big boy at the top of this hill took it. He goes, you look familiar, Stash Man. That's funny because it kind of makes sense of why they know him. Excuse me? Yeah, it kind of makes sense as to why they know him. Because obviously he, he was in this land before, um, but obviously an 8-bit version. So they aren't exactly sure of where he came from, but they do recognise him because he looks very similar to their sort of Mario 64 version. It's quite a cool sort of design. I like the way they did it. It's very cool. There we go. There's the, the bottom level swords. Now I must have that. So there we go. Even these platforms have been recreated. They're the exact same. I love how much effort they put into this one. All the effort in this one is like the exact same. It's really cool. Also, this pole is like very, very tall. So here we go. And one up. Oof, yes. He broke his ankles. Hey, Stash Man. There's a really scary guy at the top of this hill, but I know I can count on you and your fantastic stash. Please take back that star. Yeah, I love it. Finally, someone complimented me about my mustache. I love it. There we go. 
And even the platforms are still here. The same platforms. I'll take you up to the top. There we go. Let's get him. Ooh, ooh. There we go. Meow. Here we are. The Womp King. It makes me so mad. We build your houses, your castles, we pave your roads, and you still walk all over us. Do you ever say thank you? No! Well, you're not going to wipe your feet on me. I think I'll crush you just for fun. Do you have a problem with that? Just try to ground pound the Womp King. I love how you explain your weakness. Like... Oh, okay. Lovely. Yeah, I love how you explain your weakness as as you introduce yourself. You introduce yourself and you explain your weakness. It's funny. Ow. I need to, I need to like, jump. There we go. Boom. So there is actually quite a bad way to die on this. Um, if you kind of... Ow. Nice. Nice. Lovely. Um, so, while he's getting up, um, if you kind of stand near the top of him... Okay, he's kind of dead now, but... If you kind of stand near the top of him, he will kind of fling you off. If he's, like, standing up, he will fling you off, which is kind of funny. Because he just kind of... He stands up and he just goes... Woo! That's not exactly what he goes like, but you get the idea. No, crushed again. I'm just a stepping stone after all. I won't gravel... Uh, gravel. Okay, you win. Here, take this with you. Bang. Dang it. There we go. I mean, it's kind of your fault. I mean, you explained your weakness while you were explaining who you are. You were kind of complaining and then you just explained what kills you. It's kind of weird. What do you do that for? There we go. You got a star. Go, Return of the Womp King, that's star number 96. Do we bring back a bob on? Hey, yo, what are you doing bringing hazardous materials aboard? Hey, yo! You just better make sure he stays calm. I don't want an angry bob on buddy on this ship. Yes, sir. Alright, let's go speak to him. Let's see what he has to say. Um, where is he? Here he is. Have you heard of this mythical legendary world? Sounds like an amazing place, but I wonder how you get there. Ah, you kind of kind of ruined what probably we all knew to begin with. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, next episode... Um, oh yeah, we're going to do the second mission of Th Throwback Galaxy. Um, and then we'll probably move on to this mission over here. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.